Hi guys, it's Joan again. Um, I was thinking yesterday about um, a subject that I wanted to talk about and something that I wrote about as well. Um, my energy level is a lot different when I have less food in my body. And for years, I was so busy overeating and eating constantly that I never gave my body a chance to be hungry. And I never realized how it felt to always be full because I was always full. So to me, that was normal. I had been doing that since the age of five and I was always thinking about food, what my next meal was going to be, you know, having a snack, what can I eat, you know. And it never occurred to me that I was over full because it was all that I knew. Um, but as I was over time trying to change my habits and, and going through this journey of figuring out myself and discovering why I ate the way I did and that kind of thing. I had several days here and there where I hadn't eaten a lot. I had stuck to a food plan and I was trying to be more conscious about what my body needed and, and how I felt. And, you know, I had a realization a couple of times about how different I felt when my body wasn't full of food. Kind of like with a car. You know, your car needs maintenance and it needs oil, but if you put too much oil in a car, it's not going to work right. And, you know, I kind of likened it to that where I was just putting way too much oil in this body and and it wasn't working right. And as I was increasing my self-awareness and increasing how um, I looked at and observed how I felt with certain foods, you know, I was trying to figure out what does work for me, what doesn't, um, you know, what types of foods are good or bad for me, those processed carbs, any kind of carbs really, um, but definitely the processed ones are the ones that make me feel really full and they're the ones that deplete my energy and I, you know, I think it's that way for a lot of people. They talk about, you know, whole wheat, I mean, wheat and flour and, and processed flour and, and how those are the substances that really don't work for a lot of body types. Um, but when I am eating those, those regularly, that's when I just feel like, oh, uh, I can't move. I don't want to do anything. And as I started to take those more and more out of my body, I started to sit up straighter. I started to get a bigger smile. I started to be more mobile. And it, it, it occurred to me that, wow, that's too much oil. And I even, you know, write about it in the book. There was one day where I had been out with family and I um, spent five days at my sister's house in Chicago and wrote half the book in five days. I had it all outlined and everything. But in that five days, I did a lot of praying, a lot of meditating, a lot of sitting at the computer and writing, and I didn't do a lot of eating. You know, I ate when I was hungry. I stopped when I was full. And that was the first time I was really aware. And this was in, I think, in the summer of 06 when I was really, really aware of how that felt. And um, I had done that for four or five days, and then one night we went with the kids. They had a celebration or something they were, they were doing. And we went and, and saw, their, saw their celebration, and then we went out for ice cream later. And I fell back into my old ways. And at the celebration, they had a social afterwards, and they had a lot of cookies out and drinks, and I ate a whole bunch of cookies. And by the time we got to the place for ice cream, I was just like, blah, I felt horrible. Because for five days, I had eaten the way my body needed me to. And then all of a sudden, I reverted back to eating 10 or 12 cookies because there were so many different kinds. Of course, I had to try one of each at least, if not two of my favorite. Um, so that was really the first time where I was truly aware of, oh my gosh, this is what I've done to myself my entire life. I, I felt like this without even realizing I felt like it. And I challenge, I hate that word challenge, I use it all the time lately, but if that's something that you can do, is just for like two days out of the week, really feed your body the way it's meant to, or if you can do it for like two or three days in a row and really get a sense of how that feels, that's really sort of what started me in changing and wanting to really change how I ate because I started to realize, wow, I like feeling that way much better. I like being more energetic. I, I like not feeling like I have to force myself to do things. You know, I like the effects that fruits and vegetables and the more organic and whole foods have on my body. And that's when I started to really change and look at and really think about how I was eating for all those years and never even realized it because I was just filling my car full of too much oil. And um, food tastes a lot better now. You know, when I was just shoving it in, I, I wasn't tasting it. I wasn't enjoying it. It was all about my mindset and my psychological issues and my behavior and, and what the food was, quote, doing for me instead of just really treating food what it's meant to be for. Fuel for your body, you come, you get the fuel, and then you go live life. And that's the way it used to be. You know, it was all about living life and people came to the table together, ate, got some more fuel, and then they went back to their life. So, you know, I, I'm just trying to put ideas out there of ways we can start to really change our mindset because that's what it's all about. I mean, I, I see a lot of people talking about fad diets aren't the way and, you know, the yo-yo dieting and thinking this program is going to work and, and I'm doing this program but I hate it. And, 
you know, just there's so much out there where it's all about the weight loss when in fact it's really, it really needs to be about our lives and what we're doing to ourselves and why and putting food where it belongs and, and putting food in its proper place and it not being the end all and the be all and, and it being about listening to our body rather than our mind. Because that's what I did for years, for, you know, 40 years. I listened to my head. My body, my head wanted to eat. It wanted to eat. It wanted to eat. And now it's all about listening to my body. Does my body need to eat? And if my head's having a problem, then I need to, <laughs> Prince is having a problem, he needs to go out. Um, if my head's having a problem, I need to go elsewhere and not eat. So anyway, I just wanted to um, bring that thought to the forefront and see what you think about that. But again, if you can just for a few days get that feeling, it'll make you want more. It really will. So uh, give me a shout out and I'll talk to you soon. And uh, Prince is going to go out now. So you have a great day. <laughs> talk to you later. Bye.